South Florida high school football team that will miss out on the playoffs. A scandal at Miramar High School has players, students and parents upset that their season is done. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live in Fort Lauderdale where they held a protest this morning. Gabby? Elliot, the parents and players are angry. They say they're not giving up this season without a fight. They've been out here in front of the Broward School District building since 8 o'clock this morning. Right now, you can see they are taking a little lunch break. They're waiting for someone with the district to come down and give them answers after the team was pulled from the state championship for allegedly being paid to play. The Miramar Patriots High School football team riled up outside of the Broward County School Building. Demanding they get their season back. I was disappointed, like, I'm a senior. I mean, this is all we have is football. We, we, trying, to, we trying to fight for a state championship, and for them to just come in there and tell us something like that, it hurt. Players and parents protesting the district's decision to vacate the team's spot in the playoffs because of allegations of improper benefits. I don't believe anything, any of this that's happening right now, I don't believe that it's fair because it's allegations. None of this is true. The news came yesterday before practice. The county's athletic director told the team their season is over because school officials have reason to believe students received cash benefits. Last month, Miramar's football coach Matt Strout was forced to resign and then accused the team of using ineligible players, kids whose GPAs weren't high enough to play. This is happening because of a coach that wants vengeance that he was forced to resign. So now he's bringing up allegations that are false and 70 kids have to pay because of a con man's statement. An email sent by Miramar High's school principal said the players' grades were cleared. That all of our players are eligible and we can continue with our season. Sources tell CBS 4 News the ex-coach then accused several students of being paid to play, including senior receiver Javon Durant, who transferred to Miramar from Miami Norland last summer. Everything that's going on, everything is just a lie. Were you ever paid to transfer to Miramar? No. Never? Never. Were you ever offered money? Never offered money. Never took any money. Never thought about taking money. There were allegations regarding student eligibility and impermissible benefits to students. Um, our district school police, uh, you know, first it started with our staff, district staff conducting um, an investigation, and now it's moved to our district school police department. Parents say their kids have been robbed of their playoff game based on rumors instead of facts. These kids are out there working hard, and, and I don't think that they should have the right to come in and just take it from them without any evidence. I and the team is supposed to play Monarch High in Deerfield tomorrow night. The players say despite what's happening, they plan to practice this afternoon and show up to the game. District officials tell me they do have a meeting tonight at 5 o'clock with the players and the parents. We're live from Fort Lauderdale. Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.